When it comes to an irrigation design, one of the things that you're gonna have to think about is where to place your valves and where to put your valve box. Now you can see we've got some flags, got this backyard flagged out. We're about to start ditching and uh, putting the irrigation in here. One of the things is, where in the world are we gonna put these valves? I mean, we've got a lot of different places we maybe could put them, but there's some things I want you to think about before you just start ditching and just throwing stuff in. Here's another example. See, I've got two zones. We're gonna do this area and then around the corner here. Well, actually three, including the drip. But where do I need to place this valve box? Okay, this is another example of where to place your valve boxes. Sorry about my shadow right here. Now I know, as far as the hydraulics goes, your flow, your pressure, and all that stuff, a lot of us have been taught that it's best to place each valve in the middle of each zone. And now where hydraulically, and like I said, flow and all that, that works absolutely the best. But as far as aesthetically, and really coming back later and as doing a maintenance or a repair, it's really a terrible way to do it. One of the last things I wanna see, and especially in a nice backyard like this, is little valve boxes placed all over this yard. It's not gonna look good, and really later, like I said, doing a repair, they always get covered up, they're hard to find, and it's really just a pain later on. It's one of the reasons I like to manifold all my valves. But if you're gonna manifold your valves, I want you to think about where it makes sense to put the valves and manifold them, but also don't put it where it's right in the middle of the nice looking place where they're gonna see it all the time. But we've got this beautiful home right here. And right when you're walking out this beautiful front door, the valve box here, the valve box there. This isn't the end of the world. I have these valve boxes right here. At least they're in a bed. Maybe that's good. Maybe in the grass, they would have been better right here. But I want you to think about maybe a different place to place your valves so it's not right here in the front door. It's the first thing everyone sees when they're walking up to this nice, beautiful home. So put your valve box and manifold your valves in a place that's gonna be out of the way. It's not gonna be really seen. And it's just something that it's off to the side and not out in the middle somewhere. So this particular yard, they've got this nice little flower bed they do. And this is really what they're looking at the most. And so really the last place I, I think I need to put this valve box is right out here in the middle where they're looking from their back porch or up in their little pool and looking at a valve box. Nobody really wants to do that. Around this bed is not a good place. Or right out off here off their back porch, no one wants to walk out and look at that. In fact, I've had people make me move valves because we didn't really think about that. And it's why I'm making this video today. So I basically got four or five different places after looking at this where I can put these valves. One is in this corner. You know, it's kind of out of the way, but still it's by this bed. You'd still be able to see it. So I'm not really liking that. I could stick it kind of in this corner. You know, that's out of the way. My next spot is maybe the corner of the house. This might be the best spot to put it. And then come out and then come into our different lines there. The other spot is over there by the pool and that little square, that'd be totally out of the way. You couldn't see it. It's in the middle of the yard so I could catch everything from right there, which is I like that. But as I'm sitting here looking at it, I don't know that I want it by that pool. One, if there's ever a problem with that pool and it leaks, it's gonna fill my valve box full of water. So. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really like that. <laughs> you know, my best spot might be right here, but you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about it tonight and we're gonna start this in the morning. Let's see what I figure out. Now what I'm gonna do, my main line's gonna come underneath right here. And let me show you from this other way. Okay, now look back at this other way. So I've got this fence line over here. So I'm gonna come out, you know, five or six feet and I'm gonna bring my main line down this way, come underneath this sidewalk. So it's all gonna match up, main line's gonna go out like that. But where in the world am I gonna place this valve? I've got three valves. I could place them right here, just come under the sidewalk, stop a main line and wire right there. Or my other idea is to put them over here in this corner. And so here's the thing, what we're looking at. This little door right here, this isn't the front door, this is a side door, but it goes into like the master area, master suite of this house. And so they're gonna be using this sidewalk every now and then. You know, they may not use it a whole lot because they're gonna be parking in the garage and I understand that. But 
This is the, the king's area type of thing. I don't know how else to explain it, but the last thing you want is for the king to be walking right here and see a bow box right outside of his walkway. That's just my opinion. And so you need to think about these kinds of things when you're trying to place these valves and where you're gonna wanna put them to water the different areas. Now that's why I like up here in the corner, kind of by this window. The only thing I don't like about that, that seems to be like an office. So I don't know that he wants to look out the window of his office and see a valve box right there because you're going to see it. But that may be the best place versus right here down this sidewalk. So it's just something to think about. Change your design a little bit, move your valves around and make of them a little bit more maybe inconspicuous. It's going to bring your design and your installation up to the next level.